Why they sent him to Portugal? <laughs> Why? Because he's, 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 he's bad. He's bad. He's bad. I don't know how he's beating. I'm always doing these challenges. I'm good. It's the boots, man. <sighs> Yo, what's going on, guys? RGV2 here. Back with a new video today, man. I'm doing something new today. You know, today I'm gonna. This is a this is a real informative video to help you guys who play FIFA and you know you you, you probably play seasons or you play against your friends or your or your cousins or anyone or you just play online friendlies and you want to know what's the perfect team for you to use to beat that opponent. Now, I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna you know go through. Uh, the best team of each star level, so the best five star, four star, three star. I might just do. I might just do five star and four star, and then see how the video does. And if you, if you guys like it, then I'll, I'll do more. You know, I'll do the three, two, one, or maybe I'll make even more suggestions of five star, four star, three star. But you know, I'm gonna try to keep the video short. So I'm just basically gonna be showing you the best teams, the best five stars and four and a half star teams for you to use in you know any offline mode or maybe season is that you, you want to use to beat your opponents and, I, and I, i'm gonna help you find the best team that's, 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 that's all i have to say i'm gonna help you find a good team so first team the most obvious team psg now if you are looking for a team a five star team who you own and who you can use offline against your, your cousins or your friends or your siblings. PSG is the team. You wanna know why? Look at the attack. Look at the PSG team is so good that they have to play a 4-2-4 formation. That's how because they have to fit in all those attackers. You have Neymar and Mbappe, two 90 plus rated players in the team, both five-star skillers. That's all you need to know. Neymar and Pape, you got Icardi there, but I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest you, you play Icardi anyways. Like I would recommend you play him anyways. You got Di Maria there on the right. Which is good. He's still he's he's got a bit of pace. He can cross. He can do I think he's even five star skills as well. He should be. And then in the midfield, the midfield, you got variety. You got variety. But then again, if you wanted to, you could play Idris Agea. You could play Herrera. You could play Draxler there, maybe. But yeah, you know, they, they are lacking in the midfield department. But for a 4 3 3 with get, um, Verratti, Idris Agea, Parades, maybe, or Draxler or Herrera will do good. The defense isn't the strongest with Kozawa, but you do have Bernat there, the left back, 83 rating. Yeah, and he's got he's got a bit of pace. So you're not, you're not, you're not that bad. Kimpembe, Marquinhos, they're both solid at centre back, and then right back it's not as solid, but Florenz he, he does the job. So there you go. PSG is the first team that you can use. It's, it's the best team that I would recommend using anyways. Surely just, just solely based on the attack. You know, if you're good with skills, then PSG is the team that you're gonna want to use with all them faster skillers that they got. Now, the next best team that you could possibly want to use on FIFA 21. And just looking at this team excites me. Is the Bayern Munich team. This Bayern Munich team is deadly. Now you're probably thinking, what? Bayern Munich? They got Lewandowski up front and he's kind of slow. It doesn't matter about Lewandowski. Listen, this is FIFA and there's changes that you can make that will work. Now, this Bayern Munich team, they've got absolutely dangerous wingers. Dangerous. Sane, Gadabri, Coleman. As long as you've got them three on, it's, it's game over, man. Now, the bio default formation is 4 2 3 1. However, I mean, you, you could use this or you could just do a 4 3 3. But I would suggest a 4 2 3 1 so you can play both Goretzka and Kimmich. By the way, you can play Kimmich at right back if you want to. And don't forget, left back option, you've got Alfonso Davis and Theo Hernandez. So you could decide to play one of them right back instead of Pavard. However, 
if Lewandowski's pace is a problem with you, then put Serge Gnabry or Sane up front. It's up to you. Serge Gnabry or, or, Cam, or, or Sane up front, that's an, that's an amazing pace that you have up front. That is an amazing pace form that you have up front. With Lewandowski and Cam using the strength there in the central attacking midfield, field, field this a lot, and if he's, he's, he's decent passing, you might get some goals. You see what I'm saying? This Bayern team, we use correctly with the correct formation, correct tactics, you will have a deadly team on your hands. It, it, listen, if you can use Lewandowski and Stryker, then you do that, even better for you. But this team here, with Sane, Gnabry, Coleman, unstoppable. That is a real speed star team. And I'm telling you, you're gonna give your defense, your opponent's defense, a hard time. The next team that you're gonna to wanna to use. Now listen, this list is not in no particular order. I'm just giving you, I'm just finding the team I think is best and just going over them. I'm, these list, this list is not in no particular order. So PSG is not the, I mean PSG should be the first team that you're using, but you know, after that, the list, is not, the list isn't in order of teams that you should be using, okay? But anyways, next on the list we have is Liverpool. Now, Liverpool's team, if we break it down, the attack of 90-rated Mane, 90-rated Salah, and 86 Firmino, that is absolutely excellent. You might, you, you may decide whether or not you want to play Firmino or not, because I, I can understand that his, his um, pace is going to be a letdown. However, that's not a problem. That's not a problem with you, because you could switch him with um, Diego Jota, or it depends how you decide to use Firmino. You could use Firmino as a centre forward who's just playing, distributing the balls to Mane and Salah. You know, you could move Mane and Salah closer towards the, uh, the, the striker position and there you go. Easy role for Firmino. However, look at the midfield as well. 85 Thiago, so you've got a five star skill in there. 85 Ronaldo and 86 Henderson. And by the way, you can put on an 87 rated Firmino if you did want to. So it's up to you. So you've got the solid attack and you've got the solid midfield already. You've got the pacey Salah and Mane and, you know, the lovely technical players in Thiago and Rodinaldo and the holding back defender in Henderson, which I would suggest playing Fabinho, by the way, though, because he, he is better than him. Now, the defence, this is the best part of Liverpool for me. The defence, 87 rated Robertson, 87 rated Trent. Arnold a 90 rated Van the, the defense is full of pace. Their defense is full of pace. You think you're going past the defenders? You're not okay, that's a lie. Well, you probably will go past the defenders because we we know how FIFA is sometimes. But then again, you also know how FIFA can be other times as well. The defenders can be catching up to your strikers. So you must imagine Robertson, Gomez, Van Dyke, and Trent Arnold. Come on. Come on, are you getting past that defence? I don't think so. I do not think you're getting past that defence. And 90, not, let me repeat it again. 90 rated Alisson in goal? Yeah, come on. Come on, this Liverpool team, yeah. yeah they are a menace to society on FIFA. Now, the next team that you're going to want to use is Manchester City. Manchester City have a great attack. I mean, out of all the teams that I've just mentioned so far, Manchester City would probably be the least one for you to use. But however, they are still usable. Now, they've got Sterling, Aguero, and Mahrez right wing, which you can change though. You can change if you want to put um, Bernardo Silva there, which I would not suggest because Mahrez is quicker. And you, you, you may encounter a problem with Aguero because you know Aguero's getting old, so he's losing his pace. But his strength and his you know his technical ability on the ball should be able to help you see, help you to you know win games. However, you do have Gabriel Jesus on the bench who you, you, I doubt you're going to want to start him over Aguero. Though that's the thing. I you know I, I doubt you're going to want to do that. Now. If we're looking to the Manchester City midfield, you can play Bernardo Silva there in central mid with De Bruyne, with Rodri sitting. Or you can play Fernandinho if you want, it's up to you. Now, the Man City defence, which is actually a solid defence, you know, they've got Cancelo there in left back. When you, but you could play Mendy, you've got Laporte there, you've got Diaz there. Also, don't forget, you've got John Stones on the bench, oh, I think he's like 83 rated, I think, or 82. And you've got Kyle Walker, a lovely pacey right back, who can also help you with the attacking. So can Cancelo. And then you've got 88, um, 88 rated Edison in goal. So that's a great shot stopper right there. So like I said, this is a great Manchester City team that you have right now. You've got the pacey wingers with the very powerful striker. You've got excellent midfielders in De Bruyne and Silva. You know De Bruyne can drive up and down. So 
this team here it looks pretty solid to me it, it looks pretty solid to me to be honest so whether you want to use this team or not it's your choice but I, I would suggest using them otherwise I wouldn't have put them in this list now in terms of what four and a half star teams you should use now I'm thinking I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over like four maybe four other teams that you should use four and a half stars to, um, skill teams and then I'm gonna be done with the video now first team Inter Milan now you're probably looking at this Inter Milan team and you're thinking what Inter Milan stop right there remember this is four and a half teams our half star teams now this is not five star teams we're talking about this four and a half star team that we're talking about and I think Inter Milan would be a great team for you to use Hakimi and Perisic both on the wings that's excellent decent average midfielders that you got right there look at the midfield the midfielders is, is solid you got Vidal then centre mid Brozovic in centre mid and Barella in centre mid and if you look at the striking partners Martinez with the pace and you got big strong Romelu Bolingoli Lukaku and then if you look at the defenders the defense is kind of solid you got the Ridge 84 rated and Skriniar 85 rated and then you've got the amazing keeper and Han Handanovic come on man do you really think come on this is an underrated team if, we, if, if you really think about it man this is a really underrated team and you've got some nice options on the bench you've got Sanchez you've got Christian Eriksen and you've got more excellent players that you could possibly use so this is for me it's a good team you know that you could possibly use if you're having a four and a half star rated match against someone so yeah make sure you consider this team the next four and a half star rated team that i believe would be perfect for you to use on fifa 21 is arsenal now you're probably laughing right now thinking what arsenal but remember this isn't real life we're talking about this is fifa 21 where anything can happen if you're a good player and using arsenal arsenal look like a good team to me Arsenal really do look like a good team to me. Now, here's why. Aubameyang, Pepe and William front three. They've got a bit of pace in them. Pepe's got a bit of dribbling. Both William and Pepe got dribbling in them. And Aubameyang, you know what he can do. He's got the finishing. So there you go. Mirza Ozil, which, you know, at the time of recording this, I don't know if he's still going to be an Arsenal player or not. So... I'm a bit skeptical, skeptical on whether you can use him or not. However, that's not a problem. If Oz is not there, you can play like a Z there. If you don't want to play like a Z then you can play Saka there. You know, that's, what, that's the thing with this Arsenal team on FIFA 21. They actually do got a lot of decent squad depth. So left wing, you could play Martinelli if you want. Right wing, you could play Saka if you want. It's up to you. You got Shaka and Partey in the central midfield. And although you do got more options, not the best of options, but you know, you got the likes of El Nene on the bench if you wanted to. Left back Tierney, you've seen what he can do, and this is FIFA, remember, so he's actually kind of solid for 78 raid. Gabriel and David Luiz are centre backs, which is good, and Bellerin, right back, and then in goal, you got 85 rated Leno. So this is this is a good team for you to use, you know, this team looks enjoyable to use if you was going to have a battle of a four and a half star team versus another four and a half star team. So yeah, Arsenal's a team that you're going to want to choose. Just look at the lineup and you can see for yourself that this actually looks like a decent team. Now, the next four and a half star team that you're going to want to use is Chelsea. Now, just look at this Chelsea team, man. One up front, ZH right wing and Pulisic left wing. Now, of course, with this team, the thing is, there's so much versatility in the positions everyone plays. You can change the formation and, you know, maybe do a 4 2 3 1. Coetation Canton in the central midfielder, ZH as a cam, Pulisic and Hudson Odoi on the wings, one the striker. This is what I'm saying, so much versatility with the players. They can play in different positions, which is good. And this team looks solid as well. Look, you got Zuma or Rudiger as a centre backs to pair up with Thiago Silva, who you need to be careful with because he, he is kind of slow. And then you've got Reese James right back. Or you could play Aspilicueta. You got Chilwell left back. Or you, you know, you could play Alonso, but why the hell would you want to do that? You know what I'm saying? And there's, there's, there's a lot of good squad depth within the team. So when you're you know in the 75th minute and you're wondering who can I bring on to help me win this game? There's options on the bench. There's a lot of options on the bench. And now I'm, I'm not gonna go saying guys like Giroud is who you can bring on to help you win, because that, that's 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 a lie. But you got guys like Tammy Abraham who you can bring on. You know, you, you got Tammy Abraham. You know what, let's, let's even look for ourselves who, who you can bring on. Oh my goodness. It's 
See, you got Tammy Abraham, you got Havertz. How could I forget Havertz in the lineup? Havertz is there, he should be starting over Mason Mount. This is what I'm saying, there's a lot of squad depth and versatility. You could play ZH or Havertz in, in central attacking midfield, it's up to you. You've got Jorginho there for central midfielder, Tammy Abraham, Hudson Odoi, Mason Mount, Aspen you, You've got a lot of squad depth there, man. This is what I'm talking about. You've got players there who you can use to help you win the game. So that's what I'm saying. Chelsea is a lovely squadded up team. And you know, this team looks the team looks solid. They actually do look solid and enjoyable. I would want to use them. I would want to use them. Last but not least for the video, the next four and a half star team that we can use is Manchester United. Now just, just do I really need to do the talking for this one? You look at this team and tell me what you think for a four and a half star team. You you take a look at it and see. I'm just kidding, let me break it down for you. Now, depending on the formation that you decide to go with. However, I would say that 4-3-1-2 is the best one for you to go with because if you do try to do a 4-3-3, Man United don't really have any right wingers like that. So, you could be in deep trouble. You could be, however, if you want to do, you could do Martial right or Rashford left wing and Cavani striker but Cavani I don't know if you're going to want to use him in a team like this because you know FIFA is about speed and Cavani doesn't have the speed so you could be in deep deep trouble but anyways this team right here 4 3 one 2 Martial and Rashford strikers 85 rated Rashford and 83 rated Martial strikers come on man that's that's solid that's pretty solid if you ask me Bruno Fernandes in central attacking um, central attacking midfielder 87 rated Bruno Fernandes and then you got 86 Pogba 5 star Skiller and so is Rashford by the way with Van der Beek and Fred in midfield and you know what if you want to play Matic in, in where Fred, Fred is playing you can do that if you want to play Van der Beek where Fred is playing you can do that if you want to play McTominay where Fred is doing you can do that they've got they've, they've got some decent squad depth they've got 84 rated Tellers as left back Maguire and Lindelof as centre backs which you know you need to be careful because, um, be careful of because you know them two together that's a slow combination right there so you need to decide whether you want to play Eric, Eric Bailly on the field because you know he's got the pace and then you've got a lovely wonderful Bissaka right back with the pace, great tackling, you know, he can help you track back with his speed. So yeah. And then you got 87, 86 rated um David De Gea. Yeah, David De Gea, yeah, yeah, that guy. He, he he's not the same as he was before, but yeah. I guess he's still high. So yeah, this Man United team is, you know, it's it's a good team, you know. You, you should you could use them and they could help you attacking wise. Now you are exposed out on the wing and the wings with this team and with this, with this formation that I've chosen but I feel like this is the best one for this Man United team to get the best players all on the field at the same time and get them in decent positions where they'll be useful so yeah Man United but anyways, yeah, that's all for the video so far. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want me to make a part two of which other teams I believe you should use, then I want you guys to just smash four likes on this video. Four likes and I'll make a part two video giving you guys all the other teams you could possibly use to um to destroy your opponents. And um, yeah. So, uh, so you know, let me do some quick promotion. I'm gonna need you guys to like the video. You know, like I said, four legs. Subscribe to the channel, man. Come on, you know. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers before March, maybe. 500 subscribers. So tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their friends to tell their mum. And then um, go check out my other channels as well. Guys, I make football videos, man. I'm really funny. I make football videos on my main channel, TRG. And, uh, you know, Come on, I think the link will be down in the description. But come on, man, please. I, I need to be out there for the world for me to, to know, man. Because I, I think I'm funny. But the, but the YouTube algorithms, the TikTok algorithms, they don't want to push me, man. It's like... I'm starting to think I'm not funny out here, but it's not about me, man. It's not about me. Listen, if you guys enjoyed the video, you know, you know what to do. You know what I'm saying? You like the video, you subscribe. But yeah, man, 